Good morning, folks. We've got Plasma Universe for the win, the other half of the shifting monsoon story, and top science news. But we're starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last 24 hours very quiet. That active region is retired, decaying, no flaring or erupting, but the plasma filaments embedded within them are sizable. Facing Earth today and tomorrow, we will continue to monitor the surrounding fields for any signs of eruptive behavior. Quick look at the solar wind. Mostly calm, but with the potential for impacting coronal hole streams over the next day or so. That density spike may be the signal that the faster stream is about to arrive, as all geomagnetic conditions are currently quiet as we wait this morning. Let's go to India. We have reported the floods in Maldives and Malaysia as a result of the monsoon shift. That means it's missing the regions of India and China that need it the most. Zero day in terms of water, approaching for millions of people. Let's take a peek at the satellite images from overnight in the U.S. Long wave here, switching to lightning detection, and the idea is to catch some of the first of the summer nationwide explosions of lightning at sunset. The flooding, hail, and tornadoes, of course, continue as well. On the issue of climate, last night they had the temperature maps for last month done and polished, showing maximum temperature marks down at the 10th lowest level ever for the month. This morning, the government site is down. We are hoping to get you those maps tomorrow. Up next is a story for those who like the concept of rapid mountain formation, especially with the similar processes creating them. Turns out that despite the wildly different appearances of the world's mountain ranges, they all look the same when doing ridge analyses, the graphics of which also happen to look like lightning leader tracks. A couple professors took it upon themselves to debunk an unpopular idea among citizen scientists, the concept that lightsabers from Star Wars are impossible. In debunking it, They demonstrate how sufficiently energized photon and plasma beams, although essentially gaseous, could in fact feel as though they were solid to one another, and would require enough energy that the lightsaber would in fact go through just about anything else. A new simulation confirms what most presumed, and especially that's true in the plasma universe. The disk around the central nucleus is tied to the equator, and then ripples and tilts as you move outward. This is the galactic current sheet with dust and gases attracted to it. But the real Plasma Universe story today comes in the form of the Cosmic Web. A direct galaxy cluster to galaxy cluster plasma tongue connection has been discovered by the material shining in X-ray light between the two able clusters. The conclusion is simple. These must be intergalactic magnetic fields carrying and controlling the plasma, and they also say this raises to the ground the current concepts of particle acceleration between galaxies. Folks, we have a special video coming out later today. Definitely will want to swing back around and catch it this afternoon. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.